Hey guys, stay tuned. I want to show you how I made this really cool pumpkin fall decoration using wine corks. And I want to remind you, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also check out my description. There's a lot of fun links in there. Welcome guys. So we're going to be working on a totally different project than I have ever brought to my channel. And I have these uh, wine corks just sitting around and I thought, what can I do with them? It's becoming to be fall time. So I wanted to do like, I've seen this on like on Etsy and Pinterest and places like that, is make a little pumpkin. So you either can just print a pumpkin coloring page offline and cut it out for a template. Or another easy way is start with a row of six. This will make you about the same size as this right here. And I got my hot glue gun here and it's all ready and heated up. And we're just going to glue them together. And I'll speed this up a little bit. Okay, so this is halfway there, and you kind of got, so I started with six, five, and then four. And we'll repeat the, for the top port now, par portion now. Okay, so here's the base of it, the, the body. And to help make it more sturdy, what we're gonna do, I know it's kind of a lot of hot glue, but we're gonna turn it over here. We're gonna fill in between here. Just take the end of your gun and just shoot one glop down between each section. Okay, so as you can see there, we sealed it all up on the back, so it's really sturdy now. It has a little more weight to it, too. So now we're going to work on, um, we're going to use some glue, and we're going to coat the top. I'm going to use my Craft Bond Quick Drying Glue, and it dries clear. And I'm going to get my craft mat and stuff down here, and we're going to use some of this on the top. Okay, so instead of doing my craft mat, I actually have one of these um, pours here, and it fit in there just fine. So we're going to take our glue, and we're going to coat each top. Okay, so we're going to let that dry really well, and we might seal it with some Mod Podge, but we'll come back. Okay, so now I had a few of these left over from a previous project. There's like little vines here, dried vines, and let's try to get them all going the same direction. 
we're going to use this to make for our stem. Sometimes they're hard to get going in the same direction. And just take your hot glue gun and go down here at the base. Now be careful, it is kind of really hot. Um, if you've got a low temp hot glue gun, it be the best. Um, try to hold it there. As it starts to cool down, you can pinch it. But like I said, make sure it's good and cool because you don't want to burn your fingers. Once it's cooled down enough, it's not so bad. There's other methods too. This is the method I'm using. This, you just want something to kind of stabilize them together in a bunch. And then what we're going to do, this thing's still pretty wet. So we'll put them right through the top here. While I work on that, we'll get some twine. I'm going to put some twine around the thing and put a little bit around here. So we have some twine here. We'll just cut a little piece off. And we'll tie it around this here. Trim some of your bow off. Okay, let's bring our pumpkin up here. Set it up straight. And we'll put the hot glue all around the base of it. And to help hide it, we'll move the bow down onto it. I have two leaves here I'm just going to put. And then I have these little things here I really liked. These will help hide a lot of that hot glue. And then I thought about taking another piece of twine here, about this long. We'll hide it behind the leaves. Then put a little hot glue back there to hold it. Just trim the excess off. There we go. So there's our pumpkin made with completely wine corks. And there's the twine around the side. And there's the top. Like I said, once this dries, it's all disappear, all the white there. So it'll look all even. So thank you guys for watching. And if you guys haven't done it already, please hit the big red subscribe button. Next to the subscribe button has a little gray bell. If you click on that, that'll give you notifications for every new video. And once again, I want to remind you guys, please don't forget to check my description. I have a lot of fun links in there and some people I like to help support. And if you really enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That helps spread my YouTube videos across YouTube land when I get a lot of likes. And once again, I want to thank you guys for being here and watching my video. And I'm glad to bring you my tips and tricks to help you along your creative journey. Have a good day. Bye.